afternoon. Oh. Give us a run through of your tournament then, the other day. In fact, you've played another one since, haven't you? You had a good finish. Yeah? It was alright, I played very well. Yeah. Still, still haven't found the scores, mate. Clutch just don't post their scores anywhere. So no live like scoring. Mate, I had a look for that, couldn't yeah, find it. It's quite it. tricky, you need to download the app. Yeah, but why are they not posting that? I don't know. Yeah, they do it on like a sheet, but you can't like click in them and stuff. Yeah, it's just Golf annoying, you can't right, follow it. It is, but it is complicated. Um, what, sorry, what was the question? Um, yeah, last two tournaments. Yeah, I've played like four, not played very well yet, unfortunately. No. You struggled. Didn't you shoot nice right score on clutch? Yeah, I came ninth on clutch this week, but I, I didn't play very well. We played a Sunning Del Heath. Was that the little shot course? Shot 59, which was... Is it past 60? Past 58. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it like just fours and threes yeah four par fours 14 par threes it was really difficult because that's funky were, it was really hard like there were four par threes over 220 really so uh, yeah, oh was, wow so proper proper yeah, holes then yeah they're all mid irons that's just like holes. the worst combination of golf in it it's just like long par threes it was, it was hard yeah there were a couple good ones like a couple of good like 140 holes which were just as tricky which mm -hmm. shows that you yeah, just need long holes so what's yeah. the what was the winning score uh three under so it was tough it was a good field Got of the ladies european tour players playing robert rock was playing so yeah. cool. it was called it all at all access masters or open access masters okay um trying to just have more inclusive Inclusivity. Inclusivity, you know, there are ladies playing, there was, um, so I've got, I, I was, I was going to probably stay up in London for my tournaments, but I've come back, so I need some emergency work on my swing, so, Do you? yeah. Are you spraying it a bit? Um, what's going on, you saying you had no club face control? Yeah, like no club face, I've not really struggled with that that much before. No. So at, at, at Clutch Tour, I hit the second Doubled the first par three, good start to the day, and it started raining and you know, you're just thinking, why am I here? <laughs> that one hole in. Hit the second green, and then after that, bear in mind it's a par three course, the next par three I hit was the 15th. So I went 13 holes up, hitting a green and reg. Wow. And my short game was phenomenal. It must have been unreal, really, yeah. It was really good. Um, well, at least that's something to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting how your body, it's my, I don't think my short game is that good anyway. It's interesting how you're like, competitive nature and you just adapts to like find a way almost sometimes do you know what i mean so yeah. like somehow i became phil mickelson like around the greens which has never been a thing there he before, is big phil which has like never been a thing before for me but it just happened how much money did you lose on matt wolf not winning last week um so i got 125 quid and if you won i've got 760 it's just going in it. The, the only bad round of the week that he had, which is annoying. The night before, me and my mate were chatting, and he said Bryson's going to shoot 65 to win tomorrow, and I was like, "Yeah, I agree." Yeah. And oh, he went did out. Did he shoot in the end? 65. It was. Yeah. Yeah, he's um. But I've backed Mr. Morikawa this week at 35 to one. 35. And he was eight under playing 18 last night. I know he bogeyed the last, didn't he? But still, that's so good round there. I've put on. Um, yeah, it's tricky in that place. I thought you just need to be like an elite ball striker around there, and hopefully putting. You don't have to let whole loads of putts be. Be putted well last night. So. I um, I've got Woodland, who didn't play that well. He's one over after round one, and Hovland. You backed Helen Hovland, did Hovland's you? Hovland's just that the oh. most consistent player at the moment, isn't he? I was eyeing him up, and then I was glad he didn't because he was two over or three over through ten. Was he? And then he, he sh made six birdies in his last nine oh, hours. Wow, I haven't even looked at the scorecard. That's three that's three under. Today. Shot three under. Yeah, three, I know it's three under. I was going to bet on him. Yeah, I've got them both each way. I didn't still want to put much on it this week just because I thought it's it's a funny one because they're, they're getting, obviously we've got the same venue now two weeks in a row. Yeah. But I've, I've actually watched the Golf Channel video on like how to set up the course and stuff. Just oh wow! Yeah, I know it's proper fun. Is it? that because you were bored or because you wanted to have more no, insight on your I, bets? I just wanted to have more insight on the bets. It's not like I'm, I'm interested that you know they're they're getting the greens too too faster on the stint or anything. Okay, yeah. By week by week, but that's what they said. They said they're getting about 11 
this week and like 13, 13 and a half next week. Really? And That's very cool. Rough. Yeah, it's, and it's quite a big difference. That's and the way they cool. set it up, they said it'd be like one shot around yeah. average. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. They, they, I think they make too much of an emphasis on the betting on like players' world rankings and they don't kind of. No, don't do their like current form. Don't do current like form and like courses. course setup. I know. And it's can, so prevalent. Yeah. Like. I just don't think they have, they've got the team to, to actually. Oh, they that. must do sky bets, massive. Yeah, maybe. They must do, but I know. Uh, either way, it plays into our hands because. Yeah, all I'll those wolf, wolf all those tens of pounds we've been making. Well, what would you like to say to the people in the comment section <laughs> who are giving you shit, who are off twenty eight point three and oh, man, giving their like giving their five pence worth about what no, you that's should do? Fine, isn't it? If people give a five pence worth. It's just not fun. if you're off twenty eight point three. <laughs> no, it's just funny when whenever whenever I post like a bad number or do something bad like perform badly on youtube or gamble there's, there's always there's always like a set <laughs> few people that like just <laughs> just, just take them here. off your list they just live here in the corner and then like they just come out of nowhere and it's like oh hello again we were talking about the third hole a minute ago weren't we yes so we played the practice round together and it's like Far four iron fifty two, five iron fifty two. It's the easiest hole in the world, really. I, I, I fucked it up on a bogey. Would you just not have a I shot in? You did it left. I just think you're terrible. Yeah. Right. But um. He didn't make a seven, so that's good. No, but yeah, we spoke about it in the practice round, and we said like, I said third hole in, the risk just doesn't outweigh the like yeah. positives. Like at best, you can maybe make, you can make a birdie. It's not like a par five eagle chance. No. You still got to then play two good golf shots. You got to hit the drive and then play the chip or whatever. So like, bear in mind you're not playing much tournament golf at the moment. You started par par, so you started. I know. Solid. I actually got off fairly solid, yeah. like sensible. Yeah, you don't then need to try and make something happen on the third hole, which in the grand scheme of things, just you need to like Get. create a round. Yeah. A good rounds are created. They're not suddenly like. When you hear about people shooting seven, eight, nine, ten on the par rounds of golf, it's not because they've, it's not because you think they, they hit driver on every single hole. It's because they've created momentum as the round goes on. Mm -hmm. They've hit good golf shots early to like build up positive vibes and stuff. Then they've hold a couple of putts, and then they've had a string of three birdies in a row. It's like momentum. If yeah, you know, to they're not trying round. to force it early. Yeah, it's such a common misconception that when people play great rounds of golf, they just all guns attack and all guns blazing because that's that's not how how it works even if you watch tiger woods like he wasn't someone who like would sh actually shoot the lowest rounds to be honest he was just very good at slowly creating rounds and yeah building momentum he's like the best scorer of anyone that's surely ever lived as well yeah, if you put him up there with the best, I know that's quite an obvious Definitely thing to say, but day, yeah. just the way he, um, even when he's playing really bad, could always like grind out a score. Oh, uh, yeah. And sure. would always, even if he was five over par, he always puts the same amount of effort in. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Which is really hard to do. Yeah. Really hard sure. to do. Very impressive. But yeah, getting off to that bad start early, when you're like, par par, three over after three, and then it's like, it puts a bit of pressure on you. Then you miss a green, and you like force you. You like pr feel pressured to make up Definitely, and down yeah. rather than just trying to let it happen. It's yeah. just. just like not you wouldn't so have much. actually felt. Would you have felt that much different being one under after three than level par after three? No. Not. not no. Like, if it was a par five, the third hole, and maybe it wasn't driver, but you went for driver, I could see that more. But like on a par four, where it's not even guaranteed to make the birdie if you get the driver away, then. The risk just doesn't outweigh the reward. Sense. Right, so Connick's just shut off. So you can talk through um, what I'm doing in my golf swing. Um, this golf swing here being a completely natural golf swing, I'm going to talk about some of the things that are breaking down and the things that I'm working on um, in a second. So, first of all, um, one of the positions I get in is the right knee kinking out quite early um, and then I get in this position where my upper body has moved quite away behind the golf ball and that's sort of like still long drive tendencies you can see the upper body really moving off the ball quite a bit and from there if you look at this left knee watch what it does 
sort of like kinks in together. I don't get any width um, into the downswing, so lose quite a lot of stability and also potential for a bit of power as well. And then um, what you don't see from this angle is that I actually jump out of it a tiny bit, which you'll see here. So from this side, one of the tendencies for me is to get really high, so it's a long drive move where the club gets really high. It's way better than it was. So this left arm swing, that's with the left arm is almost matching the shoulder plane. Um, previously, previous to work on Ryan, it was sort of like up here, so it's a lot better. And from there, I still have the tendency for, so watch what happens. Almost push off the ground, like a quarter of the way down. See, I'm already pushing off the ground. And that means I lose a bit of spine angle, come towards the ball a bit, straighten up, and from there, the club sort of moves on its own to the follow through. I mean, all in all, this, the natural feeling, so a natural golf swing for me at the moment is obviously a lot better than where it was. But there's still things that I'm doing to try and get it in a better position, basically. <clears throat> so this is key at the moment. Um, so I've got three lots of balls out. So the first five, I'm working on a certain drill, second five, a certain drill and the last five and the drill, I'm not gonna to go to detail. I sort of wanna let Ryan actually go into a bit more detail with like the swing mechanics and what I'm working on. But what I'm focusing on in my practice sessions is yes, work on the swing stuff, get the feels, try and, mo try and move the swing towards being a more sound swing that's gonna repeat better and perform better. But in my practice sessions, I've also got to hit a basket where focusing on target, going through pre-shot routine, hitting golf shots not just becoming swing obsessed. Right, so after putting in a bit of work and consciously trying to get these feelings, sort of putting them all together, this is more of what we got. So pushing into the right foot, so this hip goes back on itself. Upper body not getting as far away from target, it still needs to get slightly more um, like spine extension, so this way. And then into transition, squat, knees start to go wide, which is a much better position. And that way my left hip can then work back on itself um, a bit more stability, decent impact position, and then some fancy footwork as per right. Let's get back to, and onto this side, left arm working across the body nicely, not too high, and then you're gonna see a lot better position here. So keeping spine angle, you're sort of like rotating open so the face isn't really doing much. That's better. Like I said, this is only half the practice session, so really working out these swing uh, changes, and then it's into now, it's gonna hit golf shots and recreate like on course stuff. So keep changing clubs, picking targets, going through pre-shot routine, going through the fields, and then making golf swings similar to being on a golf course. Just pick the club up like this. Yeah, a yep. little bit of bend in your arms. And then just turn. Feel a little bit of a little bit of curve in this arm as well. Soften this arm, yeah. yeah. Okay. So do it again. Bend up and then bend through your arms just as a slip, just a touch, so like this. Bend and then up, yeah. So here, oh, okay, and then up. Yeah. yeah. And now turn. Yeah. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's so weird. Yeah? You see it weird as well? Okay. <laughs> Can you hit a bit from there? How would you hit it from there? So then you want to keep this, again, keep this as flat as possible. Yeah. And okay. Keep the loft on the club, yeah? Yeah. And you can keep the loft on the club. And that's going to allow you to keep low point, stop the low point from moving on yep. the ground. As soon as you stir and moves, low point on the ground moves, yeah? So if you can keep it very, all the same the whole way through. Yeah, your low point should be consistent. Yeah, and I'm not moving my head up and down either, then my low point is long and flat not only but also staying still and then I can then I can manipulate the loft and stuff and be very precise with the strike you know by and, and use more, more loft basically you know the, the more I'm moving moving my low point around the more I have to like do this you know do this yeah yeah get what you're at. yeah okay so if you're trying to feel like your belt buckle you can pull it in pull the club in when you finish you can pull the club in Online. And it would be in, in almost in your belly button here, yeah. Yeah. But if you were to grab it just with your left arm, just 
just hit a couple of like, and you wanted to hit a soft pitch, I think you would probably just do that, right? Yeah. yeah. You'd bend your left arm. Yeah, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't go like trying and give it straight. Especially if you wanted to hit a nice soft shot and let the club head swing. Yeah. As the club head swings, this has to pop, and this has to have a little soft bend in it, you know. If, if all of a sudden you've got this one straight thing in it, then it, it's going to mess up with all the tension in this arm. We really want everything to be soft, you know. Controlled and just, it's like gravity is in, like you have to let go of control with the short game, you know. You just have to let go and to kind of just match gravity and it becomes much easier. It does become much easier when you just let go. When we set up, if you try and feel level in your shoulders yeah. as well. Is that still a bit tilted? You're a little bit tilted this way to start off with, which I haven't mentioned at all yet, so just, you know, it's just completely understandable. If you can feel you level out in your shoulders, you bring your left shoulder down effectively because it's obviously going to yep. want to sit up. That'll help you to go. Yeah. Okay. Soft in the arms, everything soft, you know, three out of ten in the grip pressure. Nice flat turn. Nice. Well, everything in a straight line. Shaft, almost vertical. For a shot like this, just shaft, vertical, spine, completely vertical, shoulders level, eyes level. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So if you stand here like this, if you stand and put your hands down, yeah. you'll see if they're level just try and level them out yeah you yeah. see that yeah, yeah. and then sure. you can turn okay. try and keep them as level as possible yep and then round to the impact and level as possible yep 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 yeah yep. nice okay so Bit of a bend, right? Bit of a tilt, right? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Is that bend if you, if you from thrust, getting If you this thrust way? your hips towards the target, or you thrust your hips in any way, then you're going to create bends and tilts and the slow point's going to move. So, when you finish, you should feel... Doof, right? Doof, doof, doof. Yeah, everything's on top of that, yeah? No, there's no shift like this, which is... It's a natural thing, is when you flick off. Yeah? yeah. Yeah, like that, it looks great. But, yeah, you got to try and get yourself to try and feel like, almost, you want to almost feel like you, you swing into forward bend, yeah. You really stay in forward bend, yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> the, like, technique, strategy, they're all, in the, in the mind stuff, they're all linked to each other, you know what I mean? They're all linked. And if you, if you ch change one, then you also change the others, if you know what I mean? If I change the way you think, or the way you swing, or your technique, then you're going to think differently. Yeah, sure. You just see the, you see around differently, don't you? You see the. Do. Completely. Do you, you see, yeah, you see the golf, the golf course differently. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Seth, like that. He's doing this stuff. He's yeah, he is. Doing, doing this. He always used to play like the soft left arm. Yeah, soft, soft and left rotating. arm, always like that. Watch him there. He's like there. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Left hand finish on top of the club. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice strike. 